This is just a oddball video, sorry. <clears throat> I'm going to be sending some stuff to uh, Billy Martin, a very aspiring smith. Um, bladesmith, um, potential blacksmith. Um, anyway, you slice it, the guy has made a kick-butt knife recently. And as part of the Forge It Forward uh, bit, I'm going to send him uh, some leather and some rivets and a chunk of uh, sewing thread to uh, help him along his way in making a sheath for a knife. But I wanted to send him a little instructional on this thread. Um, the ends, sorry for the background noise, that's my son, Aiden. And uh, so the ends of these threads, you know, they look like literally cat guts. <laughs> But the thing is actually fairly long. Pardon my junky mess in the background. And it should be plenty of thread to actually do the job. So my instruction is, for Billy, on the end, which it tapers down, that there on the end there, that's, that's just some oddball dowel rod thing that I had. I cut the head off of it and just roughly filed the tip and made... Uh, and all drilled a hole in dowel rod and stuck it in there and that's what I used to poke the holes in the leather you can more or less thump on this side with that. the beefier part of your thumb down here and just punch that sucker right down in with a board underneath or you can you can tap it with a mallet whatever works but anyway, the suggestion is on one end of that end that tapers down, just find kind of a thicker part. This is really tough doing it with a cell phone, but just snip off that end with a pair of scissors. And this is like already waxed and everything. Sorry, I'm going to have to get out of focus here and try and cut that. I need something better than that crappy pair of scissors. Let's try a pair of wire cutters, side cutters. That might. Oh man. You know, you try to do a video and everything goes to crap. <laughs> so, anyway, you just kind of snip it and get down to the thicker part. And then take that end. This is going to look real screwy. <laughs> Just lay the end of the awl on the side. And, like I said, this sucks trying to do it by hand with a phone. And when you flatten it. And then, you take the point of the awl. Just kind of guesstimate the middle. stick into it. I don't normally stab this into anything, but I have to do it because I don't have two hands to hold a phone, or three hands to hold a phone and pull on a thread. But anyway, you get it split, like so. Then, just kind of section off those bits. And I'm trying to get this all on the camera and it sucks. But anyway, you start to pull, and actually, one of these threads can be split into three sections. And see how there's kind of a two-thirds on this side and there's one side on this side and what I usually do is I'll take the tail end the other skinny end and I'll step on it with my foot and then I just grab the two ends and start pulling let the tension out so it'll unravel see how it'll, it'll like to do that thing there and then just unwind it a little bit 
and keep going back and untwisting it until you end up with more or less three threads of roughly equivalent you know value and size so you start out with something wide as my thumb and you end up with three pieces as wide as my pinky finger just relatively speaking so then you can dye those um, just a Crayola crayon um, take a piece of a cotton fabric and just smear crayon all up and down it and then you pinch fold the piece of fabric around the thread and just strip it down through about three four times and it'll impart part of that black wax onto the thread itself so um, this is more or less kind of gives you an idea you go to Walmart or even Dollar Tree maybe and you might be able to find some of these assorted needles that they'll include a package of like five or six needles and one of the really big ones that that's I don't know if we're sewing gunny sacks or something they call this a glover's needle even though I've never actually sewn up a pair of gloves but uh, like I said they usually come in a five or a six pack and you can get those like a buck two bucks but one of those needles in there will be big enough for if you were to take a finishing nail in a dowel rod after you cut the head off and drill a slightly smaller diameter hole and just pound this sucker right down on there it'll pretty much hold it in place and give you an awl to actually stab into the leather to make the holes to do your stitching on the sheath so I hope that works out Billy this package is going to be going out to you very soon I uh, contacted one of the admins and he gave me your address so brother keep hammering forge it forward buddy and do the same you're on your way thanks a lot Drayson 69 have a great one y'all